Hi. Now in this next part of the question, we've got to find the integral of f of x with respect to x, where f of x is equal to 1 over x times 3x minus 1 all squared. But in the previous part of the question, we showed that it was equal to a over x plus b over 3x minus 1 plus c all over 3x minus 1 all squared where a was 1, b was minus 3, and c was equal to 3. So if you'd like to have a go at this, if you haven't done it already, just pause the video, come back when ready, and I'll run through the work solution. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So first of all, what I'd want to do is just put in these values for a, b, and c as 1, minus 3, and 3. And then because we're integrating f of x with respect to x, it's the same as the integral of each one of these terms. Well, I've done that for you here, OK? I'll just bring it up. So the integral of f of x with respect to x is equal to the integral of 1 over x. Notice here where b was minus 3, I've just taken the minus out the front of the integral. So we've got the integral of 3 over 3x minus 1. And finally, plus the integral of 3 over 3x minus 1 all squared. Now, how are we going to do each of these integrals? Well, the first two are of a particular type. You most probably might recognize this immediately as equaling the natural log of the mod of x. Let's just write that in. Equals the natural log of the mod of x. And the next one is in the same kind of pattern as this one, the first one here. Because what you should be familiar with is that if ever you've got to integrate, we'll just put it down here, a fraction where in the denominator you've got some function of x and on the top here you've got the first differential of it and you're integrating this with respect to x then this is equal to the natural log of the mod of f of x okay plus a constant of integration but I'm leaving that out and if you're unsure of this you can always go on my website exam solutions Dot net and there's tutorials on this type of integral. Okay, so you can see that for this one, if you differentiate x, you get 1, the value on the top. And similarly with this one, if you differentiate 3x minus 1 with respect to x, you get 3, the value on the top. So for this one here, this is going to be minus the natural log of the mod of the denominator here. And that is going to be then 3x minus 1. Now for this last integral, this is not one of these types because if you differentiate the bottom here, 3x minus 1 to the power 2, there's no way that you get the constant 3. So it's not a natural log type. So what type is it? Well, you can do it by inspection, okay, or recognition as some people call it, and the answer turns out to be minus 1 over 3x minus 1, or 3x minus 1 to the power minus 1. Now, it's not the only way just to do it by recognition. Quite often, that's quite a tricky way for a lot of people. The other way is by substitution, and I'll show you how to do it by substitution. If we have the integral then, as we've got, of 3 over 3x minus 1, okay, and that 3x minus 1 is squared, and we're integrating with respect to x, then what I'd want to do is to let, say, u equal the 3x minus 1. Now, when we're doing substitution, this is the, exactly the same as doing the integral of 3 over 3x minus 1, all squared. But I'm going to change the dx to dx by du 
times du. It's as if these two du's cancel and it just brings me back to this value here. But I'm going to change the variable now because this is exactly the same as the integral of 3 over u squared because u is 3x minus 1 so we've got 3 over u squared. Now the thing is what is dx by du? Well I can work out what du by dx is quite easily. du dx is going to simply be 3. And so therefore I can invert this and say therefore dx by du must be equal to 1 third. So I can pop that in here as 1 third for dx by du and then tag on the end du. And if I clean this up, those two threes will cancel one another out. So what I'm left with is just simply 1 over u squared. Well, 1 over u squared is exactly the same then as u to the power minus 2. So I'm integrating u to the power minus 2 with respect to u. Now all I've got to do is integrate u to the power minus 2 then with respect to u and that's easy. All I've got to do is add 1 to the power, that's u to the minus 1, and divide by the new power. I'm going to ignore the plus c here, okay, and if we just tidy this up, this is minus 1 over u, minus 1 over u, and that means that we've got minus 1 over what u was. u was 3x minus 1. And that's what we had down here, OK? OK, so we'll just box that off so we can keep it away from what we've been doing down here. And uh, let's say that's integration by substitution or changing the variable. We change the variable to u, OK, in this example. And again, if you're unsure of integration by substitution, check out the examples on my website. Don't forget, though, that once we have done all of this, do put plus c, a constant of integration. OK, well, I hope that's given you some idea then across this question if you are having any problems. OK, there you go.